Hello and welcome to another episode of oh, Mixed Mowers. Today is Saturday and again we are now facing more gale force winds, 70 to 80 miles an hour with torrential rain and all that sort of lovely stuff. So it's not a very nice day out at all. It's raining rainy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not very nice. However, that hasn't stopped us. We've been out on the road this morning very, very early because the early bird catches a worm. Yeah. And what did we pick up? Uh, and the saw. What do we pick up? Uh, what do we put? Lawn mowers. How many? Well, two, three, four, no, we picked up five. We picked up two lawn mowers. Two um, there was one advertised in our mm -hmm. local area on Facebook. Um, um, I think it was eighteen pounds. Um, it was a bit of work. It's not working. Two um, pounds. No, fifteen pounds. Who? Um, who? What, what was the man's name? What's Sam? Sam. So Riley calls him Fireman Sam. So. It's a bit of a mix and match story, it, but the, the short of it is um, I bought this lawnmower for £18, non-running. It's all complete, but it wants some cables renewing and bits, pull cords and bits and pieces. I thought I'd have a little go at it. Then he said to me, do you fix lawnmowers? Which I said, yes I do. And he said he has a hater that needs working on as well. Could I have a look at that for him? So that's no problem. So he gave me the £18 back, give me the lawnmower for nothing, but the £18 is a part deposit as towards a payment for the hater. So it's a bit upside down and left to right. The hater, I believe, needs another new pull cord and the drive isn't working and he's not sure if it, if it runs or not. It was given to him from a friend, that's all he knows. So we've had that come in. Um, it's cold, isn't it? Yeah. We've had all that come in. On top of that, we had uh, a, lawnmower, a lawnmower sale. We sold a lawnmower, sold a little Mountfield um, 470. That went yesterday and someone gave me a part exchange for that, which I gave no money for because it, the lawnmower isn't complete. Um, it's not a particularly uh, top branded lawnmower, it doesn't come with a box and the exhaust manifold, I'll show you very quickly. I'll take it off the, off the stand. So here it is here, as I say, the exhaust itself is actually off the machine and this bolt here is sheared off. I may be able to drill it and tap it, we'll have to have, to have a little look a bit later on. But if not, it's good for spares. The engine does run, but runs particularly bad. I don't know if I have a grass box for it. If I've got a grass box for it, it may be an engine swap, a uh, drill and tap or something like that. But we'll see. As I say, it, this is just a, a run of your meal um, lawnmower. It's not very expensive, but um, it certainly will do. So we've got plenty to get on with. Um, the little green one I should probably leave for now, put that um, out in the garden, and then I should get the hater in next um, get that up and running because that's obviously a service job um, of some description and then we're back that up with the little red mower that I picked up um, for £18. So let me just quickly show you what these two other lawn mowers look like. As I say it is absolutely lashing down outside so I'm not going to be going outside too much but I'll just quickly show you what these two lawn mowers look like. Here is the two other lawn mowers. One is a Fox lawn mower with a, I think it's a 5.5 um, overhead valve engine on it and the other one is a um, Ranger 53 um, Hater lawnmower. It's got four speeds on it. It's got height adjustment. It's got throttle. It's got it's got all singing, all dancing. But as I say, at the moment, it's sort of not dancing quite so well. So we get the little green one in, um, get it up on the stand, and see what we can do to get that one at least in a running condition. And then um, the red one will be another video, backed up by the green one a bit later on, Riley boy. See what that looks like. But I'm not going to be doing too much with this one. This may just be good for spares, bits and pieces. But we'll see See how we get on. Okay, so without further ado, let's get down and dirty. And let's get this little haze lawnmower up on the stand and see what we can do. Come on. Okay, so we have it in. As I say, it's absolutely lashing down outside. So I want to dry it off. As you can see, the pull cord is in disre disrepair. That's not doing anything. It's all knackered, so that's got to be taken off first. Let's have a quick look see what the oil looks like. There is some oil in it. Next to none. So that won't topping up before I even try and start it. Let's have a quick look at the fuel. Ew. The uh, petrol. Petrol? Yeah. Where's petrol? Uh, there's no petrol in it either. Aww. 
So that's not that's not a bad sign to have no petrol in it, Riley. It's that's a good sign because it means there's hopefully no fuel inside the system. But we'll see. Right. So all I'm going to do is get the covers off by removing two screws here a little clip at the back and this little tiny cover assembly will start to lift off so that's the um cover taken off now as i say just just one screw here one screw here and then just a little tiny clip at the back which just hold holds it all on so that's all now done next thing i want to do i want to remove the fuel tank and that's done by just undoing one two three four Aww. bolts there possibly one around the side here and this whole fuel tank assembly will just tip right backwards right so that's the the eight mils taken off, there's only three of them, as I say. And now this tank assembly should just rotate backwards a bit. There's a bolt down in the far right hand corner, far side, which um, you can undo as well, but I'm gonna leave that be for now. So now we've got the pull cord assembly um, exposed. I've got to undo two bolts at the front. Um, there'll be a couple down here, one down here at the back and one down here at the back, just to completely lift this pull cord assembly off. So I'll just do it now very quickly. I think they're tens. Look a bit small for what I've got on. Yeah, they're 10 mils. So we'll just run that off. I managed to fix my magnet tray as well. Because the magnet actually came off the bottom of it, so I aerodyed that last night and left it to cure overnight, so that's now fixed. I'm starting to do my head in. One there. On there. So these are the Quantum engines on here. They're a good little engine actually. They're quite a hard little engine. I've now got to undo this little tiny um, bolt just here on the, the oil filler. I think that's an eight mil off the top of my head. And there's not a lot of oil in here anyway to worry about, so which is a bonus. Okay, so now that all assembly can lift up, twist round, and be put back in the hole. Just so it's out of the way. And all of this should lift up and release. I've got might have one more one more to do here, which is just on the side for a throttle. Get that right out. That's just holding it back. Trying to give up all its secrets now. It comes. It all comes. Of course, there's a lot of corrosion underneath here. He lives very, very close to the sea, this fella. Down in the West Witcherings, part of West Sussex County, which is where I live, near there. And uh, it is exposed to a lot of salt water, so that's half a problem. So here's a pull cord. As you can see, it all works. It just wants to be restrung. I've got lots of videos on how to do that, so I shan't show you now, but literally just pull the pull cord all the way out, clamp it, re-thread it, and then uh, put it back in. But maybe want a bit more just re-thread it, because um, as I say, it has been uh, stopped here. But anyway, check out my other videos on how to redo one of these, so I'll get this done very quickly. Okay, so that's the pull cord assembly all now. Restrung and uh, new cord on top. As I say, there's a lot of corrosion in here. I'm not gonna bother doing too much with it, but I think I might just have a look, look at the coil. Get the old jet blast, the old uh, air compressor out, have a good clean up um, and clean the magnet up just with a bit of sandpaper um, because there's a lot of corrosion on here, as I say. He lives very, very, very close to the seaside. So I'm going to just fire the old compressor up, um, spray some WD 40 in here, and uh, just give us a bit of a happy birthday. Get a bit of sandpaper just on the magnets just to clean that up as well. So I'll do it off camera. Bit of a quick clean up, and then we can get, uh, move on to the next step. Okey doke. So, good clean round, and I've also sanded off the the magnets within the flywheel there, just to make sure we've got a good connection when uh, we go to re try and restart this uh, machine. What I now want to do, I now want to put the pull cord assembly back on, and then turn the lawnmower around and have a quick little look at the air filter, carburetor, and all that sort of good stuff. So let me just fetch in the pull cord, which is hither. And just put that into its place. All the springs are here and in place what they need to be. Try and sit 
this, set this down, which is there. Get a bit of a test pull, pull that round the other side, and I get the 10mm bolts to put in. I actually fixed this uh, magnet assembly because um, it can't part of them, if I told you already, actually. Um, the, um, I had to aerodite the magnet on. It was all falling apart in my hands as and when I wanted it. So, uh, what I want, 10 mil. Just to put this back on. So one goes down into here, into the depths. Just loosely do it up to begin with. Just to seat it. One the other side. In there. Just loosely seat it. I'll come back and tighten up in a minute. One in the front. Two in the front. And just nick them up. On the other side, that's that all done up. Then back that up with the eight mil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab the pull cord out. Go over the top. Turn me oil filler in. I'll do that first. There's a little tiny 8 mil. That should all be the same, I think. Uh, what we got? One, one should be different. That's that one there, I think. That one goes down, and then the three 8 mils just to hold the tank on. This might come back off later on when I uh, I look at the tank, but I'm not overly concerned at the minute. So I have actually joined a little group actually on on uh, YouTube, which is kind of cool. Oh, here comes Riley boy. Yeah, Riley, I'm here. Just, yeah, come and help, buddy boy. I'm just doing, I'm just doing some fixing, buddy. Where are you? Oh, I've been here. I've moved back. Where have you been? I don't see mine. Oh, mummy's gone to. Has mummy gone to work? Yeah. Where's she gone then? Back to back to work. Yeah. No. Where then? It won't go now. Oh, okay, right, well, fair enough. You won't. Oh, I'm not going to argue with you. You what? You won't. Where? A boy. No, no, well, Roy's a boy said to get a, get a D walk gun, didn't he? Daddy's been using it for a little while now. Yeah. Yes, yeah, he? Yeah, it's over here somewhere, mate. Where is it? Here, look. There it is there, look, see? Where? Yeah. You seen it before? What? Yeah. So, as I was saying, I have actually joined a little group called um, the Small Engine Nation. Um, which is all over the world pretty much what I can see and it's just about enthusiasts who um, Enjoy working on small engines whether it be go-karts mud mowers lawn mowers strimmers hedge cutters, you know anything small um, It's a group of girls and girls and guys that um, Message each other and do live streams together and swap parts and all sorts of good stuff and I'm in talks at the moment, or talking to a fella over in America. I do have mentioned his name before. His name's Doug Sweener, and uh, he lives right out in the US, right down, right down south, I believe. And uh, we're actually having FaceTime chats, just just chatting, just about life in general and bits and pieces. And do you know what? It's it's really opened up my eyes. Um, the community on YouTube, and especially YouTube. within this, the Small Engine Nation, YouTube. is absolutely fantastic. Doesn't right. It? So it is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And I know that uh, Doug Sweeney has a little soft spot, as does his uh, his wife Mama, with uh, for Riley Boy, which is fantastic as well. Yeah. They, they think he's hilarious, so that's yeah. cool. Anyway, let's have um, let's spin this lawnmower around. I want to get to the other side of it and check out the air filter. Well, I've got someone repeating me here. Um, check out the air filter and have a little look at this carburetor bowl system. See what that looks like. So now we've got that. Um, 
That spun round. Riley, you gonna give me a hand? What? I want you to undo this little nut here for me. Where? Does that fit? Yeah, come in around here then. Come on. <laughs> Just to show everybody out there that yeah. even kids get involved in this. Yeah. Alright, make a bit of noise when you squeeze it, but just give it a little tiny squeeze. Hang on, let me get around to it. Oh, easy, easy. Easy. Right, just no, very, very gently. Not too hard. Too Daddy, well. No, Daddy will help you. Just a little tiny squeeze. See, that wasn't loud, was it? <laughs> right, take, undo that, pour it down for me. Well now, right, let's have a look. What does that look like? Let's have a little look. Yeah, that's a bit yucky, isn't it? Yeah. We've got a new one of them, haven't we? New one. Yeah, yeah we've got a new one of them in. So we've got to clean that off. Yeah. In a bit. Daddy. Um. Yeah. And what shall we? You tell me, then, mate. We should do one. The air compressor. Shall yeah. I compress it? We we'll do it in a minute, mate. Let's um, let's undo these yeah, bits here sorry. first. Let's undo these ones here. I do it. You're gonna do it. Of course, you're gonna do it because you're very, very helpful. Just a little bit, please. Sure Let me put well. it on the lowest setting for you. That way, it won't it won't sure it won't well. make you jump. Go on, there you go. Squeeze it. A bit more. Oh, hang on. Is it right way around. Try that. Well done. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. And this one here. Too well. Yeah. Go on it. Go on. Well done. Whoa. That's it. You. Good control. Uh, should be one more. That one up there. Oh, now you're getting used to it, aren't you? Now you're flying them off. Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, mate. Don't go just wrenching it off. Yeah, it's a bit yucky. Let me spin you around a bit. Right, I put you around the other way a bit, so we're not quite so on each other's feet. Daddy. Yeah, hang on. Right, pull it. Look, look. Well, that's all bit cleaned off too. Daddy. I'll give that a clean. There's no primer bulb on this one. Let's take that air box. Air breather pop off as well. I can go in the old tray. Daddy? Yes, buddy. I know song. You know this song, do you? What's that song? It's a song on the radio. It's all about dancing. Right, so let's um let's give this a bit of a compress off. Riley's trying to dance. Which is cool. But slowly but surely we're breaking down all the dirt and grime on this mower. So uh keep it still, mate. Um right, what are we gonna do next, Riley? So all the linkages. That was a bit of a, a bit of a free up. Oh, they are free to a degree. They are free to a degree. Where? I want to take this car better off purely because I just want to see inside it because it says it hasn't been started for a little while. So um, let's run this car better off, Riley. Let's see what we get in here. Where? Two nuts. There should be ten mils. Where's Daddy's socket set gone? Daddy. It's up here. Daddy. Yes, buddy. Where hid it? Where hid it? Here it is. Ten mil. That one. I help. You're gonna help, you always help, don't you? Show you mowing. Yeah, show you mowing. Right, go on in. No. Not too hard this time. Whoop, uh, what was that fell off? Hang on, let, let go. Got a little tiny screw uh, that come off the throttle. Uh, right. Let's get it in there nice and gently. That's that one. And we've got one sneaky yeah. hidey hiding hiding yeah. right up in there somewhere. That's it, yeah, lovely. Ow, too loud. Well done, it's not too loud. Right. I'll do it. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, well done, good boy. I do it all the time. You do it all the time, don't you? Sure, you will Yeah, right. Let's ease this carburetor off gently, gently now. Don't want to lose no bits. Careful, careful. Ew. Yeah, you need a rag. Now, we'll take this fuel, this fuel hose off in a minute. If we can maybe do a bit of jiggery poke. You guys aren't seeing a lot, but this is all about what it's about. Working with, working with my boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, Roy's a boy as well, yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Roy's a boy. You've got Roy's a boy in the head, you have. Just want to set up clamps. There's not a lot of petrol in this tank, so I'm not overly concerned. Got a bit of a rock. I'll help. Hang on, mate. Right, wait a minute. That's when get some of these fuel clamps on. No touching. What's that? Special forceps. I'll help. Just for clamping fuel off. That's it, that goes like that. Right, stand over this way because no, anyone else can see. Rather getting a shot of your head. Mm -hmm. Right, and there's a carburetor off, yeah. so that's cool. Right, I'll, let's um, go over to the bench, clean this off, and uh, have a look inside this carburetor. Okay, so I've now got you on a mini tripod in front, so I hope that's okay for you. It may be a bit dark, the weather is not brilliant out here, but uh, yeah. I've got lights on. Yeah. We'll see how we get on. Right, let's have a. So this is all clean underneath this carburetor now, it's all nice and clean. So we can see what comes out of this carburetor. That wasn't too tight to be fair, I don't think, unless it slipped. No, it's coming off. 
and it's always best just to put this onto a clean surface so that when you um, empty it out you can get a bit of a story of what's been going on with this carburetor. That comes undone. There should be a little tiny hole in there which we need to look into a bit later on. I'll show you mate. Just here. See that little tiny hole here? See that hole? Don't touch it, you've got petrol on it. Yeah, little hole. Mm. Yeah, petrol does smell nice, doesn't it? So that bowl is actually really good, which I'm happy about. I think this is just, just going to want a general tidy. I don't think it's going to want too much work at all. There's a pin to it. I might just run some WD-40, some carburetor spray in here just to tidy it up, give it a bit of an air compress, and just shoot some um, carburetor cleaner in all the holes, all the jets, just to give it a bit of a clean. So I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. AI. Okay, guys, Ryder's right, going to grab my torch for me. Daddy. Yeah. AI. Yeah, just bring it here, buddy. AI. Yeah, bring it here. Daddy. That's it, good boy. AI. Yeah, just give a bit more, bit more illuminati. Where? Just to help out a touch. Right, so the carburetor's now been WD-40 carb cleaned and also air compressed off, and it's actually now in really good clean condition. What do you think, Ryder? Nice and clean? Uh, Looks maybe. clean, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe. Okay. So I've done that, that's all been cleaned out. Ew. I've also had to clear the, the main jet, yeah, yes, petrol, mate, yeah. Where's petrol? Clear the main jet out as well. That was actually bunged in there. There's three holes, one there, one on the side, and one on the other side. So that's been done. Just want to clean this bowl out, just to make sure we don't get bowl? no, yeah, it's called a bowl, yeah. A bit like, what you, what, you, bit like what you have crispies in. Crispies? Yeah, you like, you like crispies? <laughs> yeah. You love, what's your favourite crispies? Uh, Hula hoops, beef flavoured hula hoops are Riley's favourite hula hoops. Uh -huh. I only like ham, yeah. You like lots of stuff, don't you? I would eat. And what's your favourite? What's your favourite sweetie? Uh, baby. No, your favourite. What was it? What did Daddy buy you this morning? Um, in the shop. Do you remember? What's that? You got. You get a bit of chocolate and a toy in it. What did you get? What is it? <laughs> Minion. A Minion's Kinder Egg. Yeah. Kinder Egg Surprise, Riley's favourites. Daddy, yeah. where's Riley? Where's Riley? Yeah. You're on the front side of the camera, I'll see you in a minute when we put it on the laptop, won't we? Okay. That bowl's now been cleaned out, that's nice and clean. Yeah. Just double check the seat. See? This is a whole, me whole metal um, needle, just to make sure that there's no debris on the end of this needle Daddy? seat here. Can you see it there? That looks fine. Okay, just gonna put this carburetor back together, yeah. pretty much the same way I took it apart. Yeah. And then we're gonna have another clean up on the lawnmower and then try and fit it. Okay, so just drain the fuel out. Yeah. There wasn't a lot in there, and it's Where? very, very yellow in colour. Can you see it, Riley? See, very yellow, isn't it? Yeah. It should be clear. So yeah. that fuel's been standing for a little while. Yeah. So that's not much good. So that can go into my um, dirty um. fuel container, and we can use that for cleaning up other lawnmowers. So that's pretty cool. Yes, buddy. Can we Hang on, mate. I've got to fit this carburetor back on. So now I'm going to bring the carburetor back in. First things first, just fit it to the um, to the fuel line, and there's a little tiny O-ring just right at the very back here. I don't know if you can see that, um, which is where this this seats on the back of this carburetor. So that's all got going together. Can you where? see it, Riley? A little O-ring just here. I can see. You can see it. Yeah, right at the back there. So yeah, that's it. Here, this one. Lovely. Right. Okay. Just gonna literally just gonna tip this carburetor over. Yeah. Let's set the fuel line back off. To be fair. Where? And literally just. Put the carburetor back into position. Oh, oh dear, are you tired? Yeah. Because yeah, you wake up at half past two this morning. Yeah. Try sleeping more. Yeah. And then all I'm going to do then is just, just going to wind in those two 10 mil screws yeah. just to hold the carburetor back in place. And in typical Riley fashion, he wants to help, so that's what it's all about. So come on, Riley, in you come. Oh, hi, guys. Hi, guys, that's it, yeah. Got on set number one, and you're about to drill it all the way home, aren't you? Not too out. No, hang on, two seconds. Let me get on on the nut for not you. Not just hang on, just, just chill out. Chill out. Right, okay, chill out. Go. Lovely. Huh? And that one. Thank you. Right, that's that one. Yeah. Oh, oh. you're going to pick it up for me. Ow. That's it. So, sorry, guys. That's it. Sure, sure, I hope. That's it. Oh, we're on the right. Daddy. We're on the right. Daddy and Riley day today, Riley boy. Oh, we're up there. <laughs> Damn it. Come on in. What's that with you? Come on. Give it here. Could have been on the hourly rate, Riley boy. Right, let's do that up quickly. Ow, ow. 
just a little bit. Iron cell. Ow, ow. Got it on quite tight. Daddy. Hang on. Is she doing you? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right, and that little spring there, Riley boy. Where? Hang on, no. Dad's want to go on this little spring here. Should have done it first, really. <laughs> it's going to cause some issues now. Get that spring on there. That's cool. Right, so now, now. that'll all work when I yes, set that throttle on. I can put that little tiny Where? one back in there, which is a little tiny eight mil, Riley boy. I'm not a boy boy. You are. You're a Riley boy boy. You're my little, <laughs> my special little Riley boy. I help. You are going to help. You are help. definitely going to help. Too well. Hang on. Not too well. There you go then, zap it in then. No, it won't be loud, where you go. Dad's got number one setting for you. Ow. Fantastic, right out. A G. Love it, I said, I do it, love it, yeah. Right it won't be my car. Yeah. Ow. That's it. Why are you hurt? Your ears don't hurt. So now I adjust that throttle. That'll all work. Put it onto choke. Choke? Yeah. Although Did that's not choking as much as I would I like. Know. I that's better. That's choking now. So that's all working now. That's all working as it should do. Right, so next I want to just bring in the air box Ow. and what have you. Ew. I give out a bit of a cleaner and an air compressor dirty. that's particularly dirty. So quick spray cleaner, get rid of some of this muck off of here because I want to introduce no dirt into this um, um, carburetor system. Right, so that's all now nice and clean. Where? Oh, there, see? I touch it. Yeah, in touch it, mate. Yeah, it's lovely, right. All nice and clean and ready to go back onto the uh, lawnmower. Over right, there, please, Riley boy. It's a touch. What? Just so everyone can get in here. Oh. No, just yeah, so everyone can get in, so everyone can see. Yeah, do I need to see what's going on? Otherwise, no point in watching. So I just want to bring in the um, little tiny air breather pipe, give out a bit of a I'm clean in the off. Room. Yeah, no, there's not a lot of room in here because uh, Ethan's got his bike in here. Aww. But uh, no worries, that's fine. Put the air breather pipe on. That goes on the back of the, back of the pipe there. Oh, and I then, help. yeah, you can help. You can definitely help. I Hang don't on. know. Two seconds, mate. Let me line it all up for I you. I don't know if you. That's it. Where's the holes gone? Killer. That's going to go on there just like that. So let's um, let's run in these bolts now, right? Yeah. You can help me do that, please. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let me. The day to start. So let me day to start them for you. Okay. And I'm waiting. Yeah, you're waiting, good boy. Just want to start them off. Otherwise, we're going to end up uh, doing more damage. Then. Hang on. Then what? what where are you going? Good boy, and this one. Well done, and this one. Hang on, get it on it first. Go. Well done. It's Good car. boy. Yeah. It kills you. Yeah. Ow. Go. Oh. Right, that's that. Okay. We will do it. Yeah. We want to put a new air filter in here, Riley, for him, shall we? Yeah, just do it. Let's do it. Grab an air filter then. So brand new air filter to go in as well, which I keep in stock. Daddy. Yes, buddy. I'm touching. Hang on. Oh. That goes in there like that. Hang on. Yeah, that's it. And we need to get a little tiny eight mil ah. bolt back up. Yeah. Oh, ah. thing. Yeah, that's right. You know what it is. Do that. Right. I will do. Go on in. Ah. Lovely job. I'm about I to zip it up a touch. Hang on. And Daddy, do it. Otherwise you'll uh, end up sharing all the bolts off. Right, yeah. so it's had a new air filter in there yeah. already. Got to check the spark plug now, righty? Okay, so next on the agenda is the old spark plug. Where? At the front. Where? Just here. I'm going to loosen that I'll off. You can do it. You can definitely do it. Go on in. And again. Hang on. Get on it. Right. right, now I'll do that one, Riley. You can get it. Huh? That way. That's it, love. Keep going, boy. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> well done. Yeah. And I'm here. It should be a B2 L B2 LM. So NGK, which is nice to see, and a B2 LM. So that's cool. Uh, very carbonated on there. Lots of carbon. Um, yeah, I'll help. That's actually in really bad nick. I'm not going to bother saving that. That can go straight for a Burton, and then we get a new one in. Let me just find out what the gap is for it, and then we'll fit the new one in. Right, so got a brand new NGK to go in. Yeah. B2LM and it needs to be set at 0 0.50 okay that's all now gapped up as it should be and it sits in there just right with a little bit of resistance that now goes in Riley can I help me just up please buddy yeah, sure. 
Yeah. That way. Up. One more. Good boy, one more. Do it. Lovely, that's what it needs to be. Yes, Put that on, please. Thanks, right, chili on. Good boy, that's on. Okay. So next is just to check the oil. As I said, it was next to none in here. I'll just drain that out with my old extraction tank. And it's, yeah, it's not, not even touching the minimum. So let me just take some oil out of here, take the, the old stuff out and then fill it up with new. Okay, let's just double check that oil level. That's absolutely bang on to where it should be, right on the uh, on the maximum line. So that's good. Okay. Yes, buddy. Can you tie your shoe? Hey, buddy. Tie your shoe. Tie your shoelace up. Yeah. Of course I will. Give me two seconds, mate, and I'll be over there, quick sharp. Oh, okay, so whereabouts are we now, Riley? We've done a new spark plug. Yeah. We've done a quick carburetor yeah. clean. We've done the air filter, drained the tank off. Yes, We've done a new pull cord yes, and all change. Yeah, there's no petrol in the day, he's drained it all out. It's none in there. Can you see in there? Oh, no, reach. No, you're not, not reach. I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to put some more juice in. So I'm going to put some more petrol in this machine. I've still got to check out the drive issue because there is no drive on it, apparently. Um, however, it may all cut in Maybe as and when... One. Eh? Maybe you did one. Yeah, it may all cut in as and when we get the lawnmower up and running. So all I want to do is put a cover back on. I want to sort out the, um, the little tiny... Um, handles because one of those is particularly stiff i think it's one of the left wants replacing and then put the pull cord up the top of the arm and just have a general tidy up and then we'll take it outside and try and fire it to see if the drive does not uh, cut in or not it want the blade coming off and sharpened as well but we'll uh, we'll see how we get on right so all i've done now is put the pull cord back up the top yeah. i put some petrol in it yeah, that's yeah. all screwed down and i put a new um uh, device on here it's not the right one for it but it, it'll certainly do it's not a not life or death it's just, it's just a bolt yes I see see what in the fuel yeah hi guys. put a bit in there hi guys yeah have a little look in there don't fall over I know we we'll sit up on the stall then that's it climb up on the stall get up on the stall that's it bear with us guys Riley's mobility is not the best in the world Go on it that's it. Right, now have a look. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, lovely. Right, down again, buddy. We need to fire this lawnmower I can't up. Down. Right, we're going to um, take this lawnmower outside now. What? And we're going to try and uh, try and fire this little baby up. I almost forgot this is Riley's favourite part of the whole video. So, Randy, come, Riley. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. That's it. You know what you're doing, don't you? That's it. Keep going. Keep going. More, more, more. You can do it with your hand, are you? That's it. You mind your fingers. All the way down. That's it. Right, let's get it outside and ride it, boy. Yeah. Okay, so you just have to watch out for the uh, the wind conditions. It is particularly windy out here, so we've got gale force winds coming in. So I just want to fire this lawnmower up very quickly, and then we'll see how we get on. Uh -huh. Yeah, we've got to fire it up. Uh -huh. Yeah, do we put that chili back on, right? I know I took it off and I was mucking about. Uh, you choose that one then. Okay, so despite the fact it is actually working, the drive is not. So I'm gonna give it a quick little run up, um, just let all this smoke and what have you come out of it, because it has been standing for quite a while. 
and then um, I'm gonna have a little look into the drive system to see what's going on, but I suspect as it was used commercially that the um, back axle has actually gone rather than it being a cable or belt issue. But you never know, we might be lucky. Okay, so I have now exposed the back of it and the spring cable is all working. However, the pulley adjustment seems to be either be seized or the axle has actually gone because it's not actually tensioning up on the, um, on the uh, belt at all. So I'm gonna put it up on its side on back on the stand and just investigate that very quickly. Okay, so I literally have just exposed, took the, there's a black cover, which is somewhere in here behind you yet. So all I've done, three screws, which take off this, this cover that goes off on there. One screw here is actually sheared off, got to re-drill it and tap it. And then two at the top, and then all that comes, up, um, comes apart. And as you can see in here, literally everything is just absolutely smothered. That's why the height adjustment, height, no touching, height adjustment is, um, a bit stiff. All the cables all seem to be working in here with a dead man's handle, uh, sort of a drive. The belt is not in the best of condition, but it should still work. I've got to sort out, there's a drive cable just over here, uh, which is a throttle. That's been twisted backwards, I'll sort that out to give him his gears. Um, but the actual drive axle itself, I think is actually defunct. But until I take the axle off and have a look at it, I won't know, so. In a bit of a clean up, get rid of all this muck here and free this little cable up just here and then uh, we can go from there. Okay, so this is where we are so far. I had a bit of a clean up in here because I couldn't even see for dirt. So there's a little tiny cable just here, which is all bent up. That's for your speed control. I've got to sort that out. But this is the cable where? over here. Is she? Yeah, that one. That is tapping. And back there, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. You just can't, you can't help but get down and dirty, can you, boy? Good, good. Right. So this cable here, this is the one that operates the the drive. And as you can see, there is so much adjustment to be had off the back of that nut there. So I'm wondering if I can't pull, um, unscrew that that one back a touch, just to try and put a bit more tension on the axle to see if that cures it because it's only just been only just sat in there. The adjustment on this end is actually at its maximum. So I would say that's a common problem or, or it's, it's been a problem before. So I'm wondering if I just back this off a touch, whether or not this will actually kick in because the, the handle's all doing what it should be doing. Let me spin you around a touch, try and get you in. That little tiny lever just there, is it? Uh, there, hang on, try and get a bit more light in there. You can see, just at the back, uh, where are you? There's a cable. If I move a dead man's hand, or you should have it hand, or you should better see it all move. There, so that's all working as it should do. So it's not a cable issue as, as such, but I'm wondering if I can't just literally take some adjustment off of that there. Where? Just here, you. just there. If I slacken that off, there's so much adjustment to be had. Yeah. I might just try and back it off and see if that doesn't actually engage this, this drive issue. And we'll go from there. Oh, you, did you get Daddy a Coke? I'll try it. Oh, fantastic, up mate. It, up it. I'll try it, yeah. I'm very, very thirsty, aren't I? Try. So What's you look after your old man, don't yeah. you? Hey? What's your white? Oh, it's yummy. Yeah. Yummy. Is your white in? You can't survive because you'll, be, you'll be another way around. You'll sit when we put it on the TV. No. What? No, no, TV. No, 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 laptop. Oh, computer, sorry, yeah. Computer. You're so literal, no matter what I say, you just take it the wrong way and I can't win either way. Daddy, but that's all part and parcel of you, mate. High. Just so people can see. Right, so this is where we are, guys. What? I've now... Oh, no, she... Hang on, mate, two seconds. Let me get the camera in place. Right. So this is where we are now. Where are you? You'll be on the, in a bit. So this adjustment here, I've taken right up. Where? So that, that now has got no more adjustment left on it. Where? I've sorted out this cable at the back here. That's now sorted. What that? And all of this, all of this is now free when you adjust Where? the. Um, Where? I can't see my cute little hands right. My little pork chops. Um, all this now moves when you adjust the gear level on it. So that all works. Okay, so we're back outside. I haven't tried to fire it yet. We're just going to give it a quick go, see what happens. Yeah. And then uh, we can see. But you've got to see all the linkages all, all working down here as well, which you can now see the, uh, the pivot arms all now moving. It's a bit stiff. But uh, it all works. Hang on, mate. 
Yeah, that's it, lovely. That's what it looks like. Right, um, so now I'm just going to try this, um, this drive. I'm suspicious it's going to work, I don't think it is. But we'll give it a go. Okay, and there you go. So the drive is not working. I might just investigate inside the um, inside the wheels, make sure nothing's come adrift in there. But uh, I'm suspecting that because it's commercially used, the gearbox is actually gone. So um, I think we'll leave it there for now until I get hold of the owner and see what he wants to do. It may be a gearbox change, but uh, I'm a bit reluctant to do it because of the cost. It's going to cost him quite a bit to get a gearbox for this. So we'll wrap it up from there. Okay, guys. So another good little fix there. Yeah. I have been in contact with the. Um, what you got? I'll ask. I'll ask. I'll ask in a minute, Maggie. I'll ask. Who? I'll ask in a minute. So I've been in contact with the owner of the hater, and just said to him that the drive is not working. I have double checked everything, and um, I just can't see it being anything other than that gearbox. I've checked the inside the wheels as well, and all the cogs seem to be working in there and fine. But I dare yeah. say it's that centre gearbox issue. 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 So I've just looked on um, um, on eBay just for instance just to find a, a gearbox for it a and a gearbox comes out for a Hater Ranger 53 at £120 just for the part uh, that doesn't include for me to strip the lawnmower down and to fit it so that outweighs the cost of, of a lawnmower I would say been in contact with him and asked him what he wanted me to do dirty. you're dirty? Fantastic, that's how we like to be, nice and dirty, don't we? Thank you. Do you want a drink? Yeah. You got a drink? I've got a drink. And the owner of the lawnmower has said, cheers buddy, it's, good. it's a job well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Cheers. Um, yeah, he said it's not worth doing, so he's more than happy just to push the lawnmower. He said he may come back to me a bit later on um, if he decides that it is um, going to be too much work and to fit a gearbox to it. I may even have a little hunt on the on the side to see if I can find a second hand one that works but because this lawnmower was used commercially that would be why. Um, I've adjusted everything I can within my knowledge to try and get this um, drive to kick in but it's just not having it. Kicking? So, kicking yeah. Who? Not, not kicking it. Kicking means another way of making it you? work. No. Who? No one. Who? Not him. Who? No one. Who? <laughs> I love you. What did you do, Daddy? Good boy. So, so? that will wrap up well, this video. Well, um, we've well, got it going, we've got it running, so that's good. We've got another lawnmower to get on with today, hopefully, if Riley well. will permit. Um, another one, we've got a red one too, say. So. Oh. Oh, there's no rest for a wicked, mate. We've got to keep going. Do you? We've got to get these lawnmowers up and running. Do you? So, thank you very much well. for joining me and my little Riley boy on today's episode. Uh. He has asked me to. What? What do you want? Uh. Digger. Okay. Riley Boy has asked me to ask anyone out there if you have any stickers for your channel or any shows or, or events that you've been it's to. Here. We've got some yet. He is desperate to Goodbye. fill. He's desperate to fill up that um, that side of the box with stickers. I know that some of um, my subscribers have already or are in the process of sending some stuff over. Um, so that'd be fantastic. If anyone does have a sticker that they think Riley Boy would enjoy. My email address is down below, Hello. and very simply, just send me an email. I'll send you my address, and then you can send a little sticker to put on Digger. Riley's little toolbox. Right. So, thank you very much for joining me and Riley Boy on today's episode of oh, Mixed Mowers, and we will catch you all again very, very soon on the next one. See you later. Oh, did you do?